Well, good day, folks. NB Wildman here again. Uh, just want to show you a quick, quick Martin box that I'm doing. I'm going to change my line this year. We're going to do a little uh, Fisher and Martin trapping, and I'm going to do it with some boxes up in the trees. So I wanted to show you a really quick, really great design, uh, a nesting Martin box that you can use. And the beauty about this box is that we'll hold um, any one of four different size traps. So if you like to use the, um, the 120, or the 155, uh, 160, or 220. This Martin box will work uh, for any of those traps. Also means you can get a bigger trap in it if you want, if there are any fisher in your area. So just real quick, uh, I'm going to walk you through the steps to build this box. So we start out with a piece of three quarter inch plywood. Um, we cut it nine and a quarter across the front, nine and a quarter this way. It is a full 19 inches in length and then it is five inches at the back. Uh, I come up two inches and drill a hole and four inches and drill a hole and I'll explain that when I kind of get to the end. Okay, so you'll need two pieces that look like this. Um, and then you can go ahead and you can cut two pieces that look like this. This is three eighths inch plywood. You can use whatever size you have kicking around. It doesn't, the size of plywood really just depends on how much weight that you want to have as you carry the boxes. So uh, this piece is cut 10 and a half long total. Um, the slot that I use is between seven and eight inches long and it's about three quarters of an inch wide. And then at the other end you've got four inches uh, instead of five and this whole unit is again 19 inches long and you'll need two of these. Um, from there we simply take uh, our base unit uh, that we've built and nail, nail the side unit onto it. I just use whatever I got kicking around, two or three two or three roofing nails for this one. Okay, so you got one side done, and then you nail the second side on, which should give you this. Okay, please make sure when you're building this, in order for this to work, you have to nail your uh, side pieces on the side of your solid bottom piece. Okay, so step by step, right along. Uh, when you do, you put your top piece on, which is this, identical to the bottom piece, and you'll end up with a creation that looks just like this. It's um, ten and a half, uh, it's ten and a half wide total, but you've got nine and a quarter wide uh, inside. Okay, and then these two holes that you'll see, uh, I've drilled these in the top and the bottom at two inches and four inches. And when I attach these to trees, what I do is I don't recover, I don't go back and pick up my boxes. I use same locations, uh, or I you know build new boxes because they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, I use a six inch nail uh, and what I do is I drive them down through here and into my tree here and here whether it's a whether it's like a pole set on a vertical or uh, or a horizontal or it's uh, at, a, at a slant so I basically just use a six inch spike and I go here and here and that secures my box uh, it also really helps because as you'll see those nails will drive down through at the back uh, of the box and that will help me uh, give something to put my bait against. I of course use a piece of wire mesh in the back. I, did, I haven't put that on this one yet, but uh, I'll just use a piece of half inch wire screening on the back. And so those two spikes down through those holes into my tree will help, help hold the bait. Um, the beauty of this trap, like I said, was that it will, uh, it will nest one inside the other. So you can, take, you can take several boxes and slide them one inside the other and they take up very little room. Okay, now this one's not complete, but they, they only stick out here five, six inches, and so you can stack over and over, and you can put five or ten in a row on your snowmobile sled or the back of your truck or whatever it is that you're doing, and they certainly don't take up a whole lot of room. Uh, they're 19 inches long overall, and they're really quite, really quite sharp to, uh, to use. Um, and again, the beauty of them is no matter what size trap you like to use, they'll fit in the box quite snugly. I use a lot of 160s, so here's a 160 and sits in there nice and snug. Not a lot of room to get around it. It sits quite a little ways into the trap. Um, perfect little set for a Martin or Fisher. Um, and also if you've got some bigger stuff in the air, you want to trap some raccoons or you like to use 220s for Fisher, uh, you can take your 220 and this 220 also sits right in the doorway just like this. Uh, I could have lined up in this trap, I could have lined up a 120 farthest in and then a 155 and a 160 and a 220 and and this box will house all four of those traps so one box no matter what size trap you want to put in it you don't have to build different size boxes or redo different boxes 
Uh, this is what I'm going to use this year on the line, and I will let you know how I work out how this works out for me. Um, just thought I'd give you a quick look. There's a thousand different types of Martin boxes out there or Fisher boxes, but I was always looking for the one box I could build that would be a multi-species box for me, and I think I think this is it. So um, feel free to send me any comments or questions that you may have. Go ahead and uh, drop me a line with any uh, any tips you have for how to maybe I could make this better and. We will go from there. So for more great hunting, trapping, shooting videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, uh, and be wild man, and send us a comment, give us a like, and we will see you out on the line. And be wild man, signing out.